Hello guys and welcome back to comment and it's time for maybe the last part of this tutorial series. Um, that's a little bit what is going on in the comment section. Guys have been requesting that I also create that if you press E and you walk around and you press E by a uh, certain object, it will add to the inside the inventory. This is something that I will maybe create, it just depends on how much time I got. Um, so we will just see that. But for today, we're going to create that the inventory will work. So we're just going to finish everything that was originally the plan. And now, let's do it. So we are going to start with the update. And in the update, what we're going to do is we're going to say that if current ID, and the current ID was the ID of the object you were currently moving. And if it was minus one, it means you weren't moving anything at that moment. So we can say, if it isn't minus one, that means you're moving something, we want to call the move object function. So that works now. Then we're going towards the start function. Um, so we don't currently have anything inside this list. And we can do that by just check if you already got something in that list. And this looks like a little bit dumb, that why are we going to put an if statement if you know for certain that the items uh, really doesn't got uh, anything inside it. And that's because maybe um, you are um, using this object uh, twice or you are already putting something in there or whatever, uh, then it may be that you already got uh, the inventory and you don't want to have it duplicated. So that's just a kind of uh, make sure that doesn't weird happens and why not. Um, so if count is zero, it means there isn't anything else. We are going to add all the graphics. Um, for now, what we're going to do is just put everywhere random items. So we can just see that it works and we can just test it. Um, otherwise, of course, you won't do this. You will just load it somewhere from a, a saved file or whatever. But int i is zero, i is less than the max count. So, whoops, we're going to um, go through every slot inside your inventory. And we are just going to add uh, every time we loop one. And we're going to do the add item. And we're going to say that it is um, at the position of i. So this is the slot, the number of the slot. That's, I think, very logical. Then you're going towards the data.items. And then random.range. Zero till data dot items dot count. So that means that we can uh, choose anything that will be in the list. Um, here we're going to add that it is. Um, so this is the count. We're just going to say that it is um, another random dot range one, of course, because that's the minimal uh, till ninety nine. And we are going to say that um, it is 100, the health. We don't want to use it anyway, so why not? And then the last thing is we're going to update the inventory. Now we're going to do the uh, things in the scene. I'm very sorry for the weird cut, but I just had to fix some things. Um, so we're going to start with adding those two scripts. So database and the inventory. Um, here we are going to, uh, in the end, assign everything, but before we are going to forget it, let's uh, go within the database and just add three items. The very first one is going to be called empty, uh, with the sprite of uh, the background. Um, that doesn't really matter. The second one is going to be called uh, X with an image of an X. The third one is going to be called sword with an image of a sword. 
Um, you can just add whatever item you want. It's just an example, of course. Um, now we're going to add everything else. So we're going to start with a canvas. And we're just going to um, do this to screen space camera and just assign it to this to scale with screen size. And also add a panel. Uh, this is the background. Um, I'm not going to really care about uh, how the graphics are going to look like because this is just an example and you guys just need to do it on your own. I can create a tutorial for it uh, about how to use those UE elements, but I think by this time everyone already know it. If you don't, feel free to ask. Um, this is the main inventory. So normally, uh, that's a little bit of a layout, but normally you got, um, for example, in Minecraft, you got a crafting uh, part within your inventory. This is kind of like what we also going to have right here, for example. Um, so we're just going to let it empty. So we can just show you uh, guys how to do this. So this is the whole inventory uh, with the background. And just make this brown, something like this. Um, only in this part, we are going to have the right uh, really the items um, so we're going to add here a grid and that's to make sure that everything is going to look right because we're just adding all those items but we are not saying which position uh, they got and that's because that is this script going to do for us so we're just going to say this, this is going to be 10 10 10 it's going to be 30 for example um, again not very important for now for me um, and we're going to add a button and that's the actual inventory item whoops inventory um, or whatever you want to call it we're just going to add that within our uh, prefab folder and that's because we want to access it from any scene everywhere um, wherever you want to use the actual well, object um, so we're just going to say just going to put it right here in and we're just going to say that um, the text is going to be uh, centered around the right corner you can also do it on the left but we're going to do it on the right and just hold shift and click on the uh, right bottom and we're just going to put also it right there uh, we're going to have a white color and with an outline, with a black outline. And this makes sure that you can just see it. This is the number of um, <coughs> how much you uh, got the item. Um, the last thing we're going to do is best fit. And we're just going to say 1 to 40. So that for sure you know it, uh, that it is going to... Um, uh, that you can see the number. Uh, we're just going to apply this and remove it. Um, then the last thing we're going to do is uh, add an image. And this is going to be very important that the width and height is the same width and height of the inventory item we just created. Um, that's because otherwise you'll it will just look weird so it's just a tip um, and we're just going to disable it and you can say it's the moving object um, now we're just going to assign everything so data game object show is of course the inventory item I'm very sorry by the way for the weird names I'm not very good at that um, the Inventory main object, which is going to assign that. So that's the actual background. The camera, the event system. The current ID is going to be minus one because currently you don't have any item in your hand. Um, and a moving object, we're also going to assign that one. We're going to say that it's an offset of one and one by the X and I, so it's a little bit. Um, uh, by the way, this is minus one. So it's a little bit down and right. Uh, for the cursor 
Also, we're going to say that the rake is target is disabled. So that whenever you click, normally if that is enabled, and this will be above everything else, and you want that by the way because you want to see it uh, in front of everything else. But um, then if you click on that and your moving object is at the exact position um, of the uh, mouse, then you will just click on this object and not on the button that's beneath it and you don't want that. Uh, so we just say that whenever you click, this item um, is not clickable and it will not um, block any clicks. Um, I also did this to the left top, so that already the mouse is going to be standing right here when you move it around, or the object is going to be here if you have your mouse here. So, well, let's just uh, hit play and see if there are any errors. Oh yeah, uh, before I forgot it, um, we also need to add on the um, max count just 80 for example yeah it's just an example of how many slots you have you can do whatever you like um, so this is how it shows now so now we need to oops fix a few things um, at first we need to fix that there is a little bit of spacing and let's just say it's three is that right maybe even no three is right um, we're just going to copy this, copy component, and you're just going to um, go to editor mode again, and you're just going to paste component values. So now we've got exactly what we had just uh, back, just a minute ago. Uh, and we're going to say that it is going to be 85. I think that will fit perfectly. 84. All right, so that's kind of how you do it. Um, this is like the whole tutorial series about how to create a basic inventory uh, system. Um, I can do, I think I'm going to do next week about whenever you are going to, um, well, like I said at the beginning of this video, whenever you're walking around. Um, but what we, uh, also what I'm going to create then, or what we are going to create uh, is that you can now only switch items, but then you can also stack them up to 99 um, if that is allowed. Uh, that's something that only will be created if we got the time. So I hope I will get it in time. Um, and that's also part of the same uh, like tutorial when you're walking around and you're pressing E and you can pick something up. So I hope you guys like it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe. That's really appreciated. And I'll see you guys next week. Let's help with the, a new part of this tutorial series. Bye.